Hi everyone, welcome back to another video from eLearning Portal. In today's video, I will show you how to use your glossary entries as a Moodle quiz. Let me show you how this is done. First, we need to find a glossary. So if you don't have a glossary and you want to follow along, go to moodle.net and let's find a glossary here. In your search box, type in glossary and you'll see all the glossaries available for you to use. If you want to see more glossaries, let's click on see all and it will display all the glossaries currently available on moodle.net. Let's choose this one, ICT terms, glossary entries. I'll click on that and then I'll click on download file. If you want to directly import it into your Moodle course, you can click on send to Moodle. I'll use the download file. It will download to my downloads folder. I'll go to my course, then click on my course name. And since this is ICT, I'll click on ICT for all. In here, I'll choose turn editing on if editing is not on already. And then I'll choose where I want to add it. So let's add it under topic one and let's click on add an activity or resource. Then from the all the activity or resource list, you'll choose the glossary. In here, I'll specify the glossary name. So I'll type in ICT glossary. I'll scroll down and under entries, I can see that the first option here is approved by default. You can leave everything on its default here. Okay. Just make sure since we are using this for a quiz, make sure you turn this off. Otherwise the learners can actually see the answers um, by clicking on the links. Okay. So turn this off for now. I'll click on save and display. And then you'll find an empty glossary. Okay, now we need to import those gloss the glossary entry that uh, we've just exported from the Moodle.net platform. So just click on import entries and then just drag this to the Dropbox here. The destination will be in the current glossary, but you can also create a new glossary. Okay, import categories if there are categories within that particular glossary and this is basically important uh, you can check this tick box click on submit and there you'll see 115 entries were added so let's click on continue okay so here's our entries okay now we want to use this as a quiz but we don't want to create quiz questions um, manually or individually. Okay, so let me show you how this is done. Go to Moodle.org and then go to the plugins directory. Okay, so here's my plugin. So let's say you have end up here on Moodle.org. Just click on plugins. In your plugins window, in the search box, type in glossary and click search. In here, you'll see all the plugins related to Glossary and we will use the second one, Export Glossary to Quiz. So let's open that one and then make sure that we download the correct version. Please, this is really important. This can actually uh, break your Moodle site completely if you don't install the correct version. Okay, so make sure that uh, you're on the correct version. If you are uh, on Moodle 3.11, you'll download this version. I'm on Moodle 4.0, I'll download this. I'll click on download and it will download to my downloads folder. I'll go back to my Moodle site, click on site administration, and then click on plugins, and then click on install plugins. From here, I'll drag this downloaded plugin to my Dropbox here, and I'll click on install plugin from the zip file. I'll go through the installation process, continue, and here I'll upgrade my Moodle database. 
I'll click on continue here. Okay, that's it. So let's go to our course. And we want to add it to our ICT for all. Okay. Then in your course, make sure that editing is turned on. Scroll down. You'll see we've added the glossary there, but now we need to add a block. Okay, to expand the block, we'll use the draw here or just add a block. So if you're running on Moodle 3.11, you'll add a block. Scroll down to where you see glossary, export glossary to quiz. There it is. You'll click on that. Okay, and now this block will appear. Now we need to configure this to actually export this as a quiz. Okay, so click on the drop down menu here or next to the gear icon there. Click on configure export glossary to quiz. Now we need to choose a glossary. So the first thing we need to do is select the glossary to export from. If we click on the drop down list, you'll see the glossaries there. Okay, I'll choose the glossary there. So I'll choose uh, the one that we've just added. Then we can actually sort the order alphabetically or most recent or oldest entries or random. We can specify the maximum number of entries to export. So let's choose here 10 just for uh, the purpose of this demo video. Then I can select the question type I want to use. So currently there are four question types. There are short answer, multiple choice, matching and drag and drop into text. Okay. So I'll choose the multiple choice question just for this. And now I can specify the number of choices. Okay, I'll make this four. So learners can choose from four options available in the multiple choice questions. I can choose the number of the choices. I'd like to make it capital letters. Then I can shuffle within the questions. I leave this on yes. Export images and audio files. I'll choose yes there. If I have images or audio files or video files, then this one is important. Mask the concept words in the definition text. Remember, we are exporting a glossary to a quiz. So uh, chances are that the word within the glossary will actually be the answer. So this is really important. We need to mask that, okay? Where the block appears and on this page, we leave that on its default. We click on save changes. And that's that. Okay, so there's my glossary entries. There's my 10 entries. Now I can click on that and then I can export it. It will export to my computer in my downloads folder. Okay, so now I can go back to my course. So this is my course here. I click on more to access the question bank. So I'll click on the question bank. And now I can specify where I want to add the, remember this is in XML format, so it's the Moodle um, quiz or Moodle question type format. So I'll choose the import function there. So I want to import that quiz questions. I'll choose Moodle XML, then I'll specify where I want to add it. So import category, where I want to import it. So basically, I want to import it in the defaults for ICT for all course. Okay. I'll leave everything on its default there. I'll drag this XML file into the Dropbox here. Okay. And I'll click on import. And you'll see there the 10 questions from my glossary I've just imported. Okay. I'll click on continue. And there is my 10 questions imported. Okay, so let's test this. So I'll choose here a question. Let's choose this question. I'll click on edit and then preview. And you'll see the masking option that we've chosen. It shows that uh, three little asterisks. Okay, so now the question is N is just a computer term for a list of vectors. It's one of the simplest data structures and so forth and so forth. And there's another one there. So I'll choose array, click on submit. And there's my answer. Okay, so let's go back. 
go back. So these are all my questions. Just make sure that it masks the it actually masks the the cor uh, correct words or the answers within the question. Okay. So now I can go back to my course. Remember this: uh, the questions are in the question bank, and you'll notice that it's no more visible in this block here. Okay. So now I can create the quiz. I'll add a resource or an activity. I'll select the quiz. I'll give the quiz a name. So this will be ICT. Uh, let's make it ICT quiz. I'll leave the everything on its default there. Everything there. Uh, under activity completion, I'll just choose show activities complete and the users should obtain a, a grade. Okay, I'll click on save and display. And then I need to add the questions. Okay, so okay, I can click on add questions and then add the question from the question bank. And now I need to choose the questions that we've just created. So there's the ICT glossary 10 multiple choice questions. I can select them all. I can add them. And there's my quiz. I can even randomize it from here, but I'll leave it as is. I can go back to my course and now you'll see this is my quiz. You can preview the quiz and there's my questions. Okay, so this is how easy it is to actually use the glossary as your, to export the glossary as a quiz. Um, and so the glossary you can create beforehand and then you can populate quiz questions on that particular glossary. As I've mentioned, just make sure that um, the answer is not in the question because these are glossary entries. Okay. So let's go back to our course. Okay. Now again, I want to export another glossary. So if I click on the drop down menu right next to the gear icon, click on configure. I can actually export another one. So now I can choose, okay, again, give me 10 questions, but this time provide me with short answer questions. Uh, now I can specify, should it be case sensitive? Do you want the learners to type in a capital letter for the beginning of the word and so forth? We'll leave that on no. Export images and audio files, yes, and mask concept words in the definitions, yes. I'll click on save changes. So here's my 10 entries. I'll click on that. I'll export that. So there it is, download it. I'll go to my course. Then I need to go to my question bank again and import that questions that I've just exported. First, I need to select import. I choose the Moodle XML file format and then I specify where I want to import that questions. I want to import it in default for ICT for all and then I'll drag the exported glossary quiz to the Dropbox area. I'll click on import. There's my 10 questions and I'll click on continue. Okay, so there's my 10 questions and you'll see it's all short answer questions. I'll go back to my let's test one. So let's test this one here, preview. And you'll see now you can enter the name. A category of software which lets you make a web page without having any knowledge of HTML and you can add the answer there. So let's go back and let's go to our course again. I can add an activity or resource, go to my quiz, again specify a name, so I'll choose, this is ICT quiz 2, I'll scroll down, leave everything on its default, I'll go to that uh, activity completion, and then students must receive a mark, save and display. And then we can add the questions that we've just exported and imported to our question bank. Remember, we've 
that's our multiple choice question and that's our sort answer question i'll choose that i'll select all of them and i'll add them to the quiz and there's all my questions my 10 questions uh, i'll just save it there i can go back to my course go to my quiz preview it and you'll see there is my quiz it's all set up short answer questions okay and this is how easy it is to use the various the one plugin from the moodle's plugin directory export glossary to quiz and i'll add the links to the description of this video so you can just click on the link and go to this moodle di uh, moodle plugins directory and download it install it on your moodle site and also to your moodle.net where you can download this i'll also add the link in the description uh, if you want to follow along with this video um, and then uh, start playing around with the uh, glossary entries um, and exporting your glossary entries to a quiz